just a quick update on my next project this is what I'm actually building a 2x72 tilting belt grinder um, Gen 2 um, I will put all the links and descriptions um, on the video um, but this is what I've been spending the, 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 the winter evenings um, so far I've taken about a month uh, building it so let's just turn you around and then see where, where, where I'm at there you go um, it's all the parts hand cut pretty much most of it is 8mm steel plate and literally I've just been coming in here in the evenings or when I can I'm um, just cutting a bit here cutting a bit there a bit of drilling uh, plenty of grinding that's for sure um, I'd say that's roughly a month month I've taken so I'll try and get in in a bit closer I'm sorry I'm not very good with videos but you'll get what I'm trying to do there you go that's all the parts there and that's just at the moment just the basic build um, the, the basic grinder there you go that's mainly for the feet there three phase motor as well it's a table made those on the lathe there's the three phase motor I, I purchased new and wired up myself today that's ready to go and tested so tested that for about an hour and a half an hour sorry and then there's all the other bits and pieces all the paint is here There you go. I'm trying to make the video a little bit longer so it's all last. <laughs> but there you go. That should keep me quiet for later. So this will be packed away now tonight. Put all back. And then I'll rearrange the workshop to pull the welding kit out. Uh, to weld it up. And again, no real rush. But you purchase the plans uh, from, from the guy who's got an Etsy shop and I think there's something like £30 he obviously designed it this guy um, and you just sort of follow the plans and build it I'll, I'll run you through the manual um, but everything's there everything's ready to go um, everything literally I've still got a couple of bits of material to cut up but I can't cut them up until I get underway as soon as the welding starts and I can but I've still got this material here to cut up um, that was a nightmare that piece of steel bar can't cut that up yet until I get going that was that was 70 quid literally um, I'll say it's an absolute nightmare but it's certainly personally myself I think it's not over engineered it could have been done in in thinner material um, in, instead of 8 mil, it could have been done in 6 but overkill maybe but I know it's going to be good you know, just the amount of, you know, just the sheer thickness of the material it's, it says one thing. Um, but yeah, happy. But the manual, here's the manual here. I won't show you through, obviously, through all it for obvious reasons, but it's well informed. All one to one scale, all one to one scale drawings, um, like here. So basically, you could literally either take the dimensions yourself and, and copy it onto metal or because they're one to one scale you know you could print them and literally just stick them on um, onto the metal work mark them out cut them out um, and you could reprint them as many times as you like I've printed this is just my own manual but um, I did print a load of loose copies of um, literally just to cut up and stick onto the metal and obviously where he was grinding and cutting some may have burnt off and you had to re-put it back on again re you know just reprint and put it back on but it's the whole lot and it don't stop there um, just move a few bits out of the way and I'll tr show you shows you how to build it um, and then also you can purchase extra accessories contact wheel attachment um, I won't show the the printouts for that um, the assembly instructions 
adjustable table that I will be definitely making after I could have made it before I start welding all this lot up but and just have that but I'm gonna build what I've already got to build and then I'll build this after um, small wheel attachment and there you go so really really looking forward to it I'll say I won't I won't tell you what color I'm doing yet I've got my own color that I'm choosing and all the contact wheels tracking wheels ordered he did recommend change swapping out the 75 mil uh, wheel to the hundred which is what I've got and that one I think is 130 mil so yeah it's all literally all ready to go apart from I've got to obviously heat that up heat the wheel up and drop it onto the motor uh, expand the, the, the pulley but yeah it's done I haven't got um, although it's three phase motor I haven't actually got um, a VFD for it but what I am using down at the side there I've got a plug there which I've got a VFD for the the lathe so at the moment I'm just going to literally just come off of that and like I say I've, I've already soap tested the motor today an hour run it through through its paces a little bit and that's what that's the speed controller but eventually I will probably end up getting another VFD and a controller um, because that's been working for, sort of I've never had an issue four years I've had that um, never had an issue at all so and the motor that I've got this one not the not the most expensive but I've got the same one on my milling machine which I've had getting on 10 years no uh, that one's I've had the mill for about 10 years but um, the motors probably four years old on that heavy usage and never a problem I've got it on my dive bottle uh, my diving compressor and on the back of the Colchester Bantam same motor can't see it in there sorry um, so the idea was although I'm running three phase here I've got that VFD that I use for the lathe that dive compressor runs from this and also I've got a VFD here same one, same setup for the mill and the idea was, was that if I take all the same size motors if I ever have a, a breakdown or a failure so I haven't got to be waiting for any um, literally I can just swap one out swap one out and on we go um, I haven't got any sort of say downtime um, yeah just convenience for me um, I know I haven't got to worry um, but there you go then people um, what I'll do I'll post another video when I've welded when we set up what I'm doing when I'm starting to weld and hopefully that'll be done real soon then I'll start cleaning up my airbrushes and spray guns and compressors and stuff like that and get it ready for spraying what once it's all assembled um, but yeah I'm really really looking forward to this project um, it's been a long time I haven't had a project get too long going for quite a couple of years to be honest uh, the last lot I made was a lathe mini machine shape they're all on, online on, on YouTube as well but, um, I'm really looking forward to it but I'll put some links up to the manual anyway like I say sounds excessive it sounds expensive 30 quid but to be honest with you well well worth it um, and like now I could print off as many copies as I like you know if I need them for the workshop I could have a spare copy in the workshop one in the house and print off whatever I want anytime which is nice quite impressed with those I've still got to buy some more wheels um, I had a good friend tell me where to go and get some uh, some bigger tracking wheels, uh, some bigger wheels and that uh, I think that other plan I think goes up to about 200 millimeters or 250 300 mil I can't remember now offhand so but yeah while I'm here I might as well show you a quick tour around the workshop still hasn't changed much still got the same lathe it's a right mess 
There you go. I'll say it's a mess here at the minute because I'm literally just sorting stuff out to move out of the way for when I set the world up. So, there you go. <laughs> That's the linish I was doing some of the polishing, uh, some of the grinding down. That was useful. I'll probably resell that after, after I've finished with it. Bandsaw there. Um, but yeah, it's crashed in here at the moment. The world is tucked behind there, but I will put a video after that. Um, the new machine, that's done some work on, on this grinder I'm building. But yeah, really, I do apologize for the mess. There you go. Boy press, everything's still the same. Nothing's changed. I'll turn you around from this view. And there you go. The only new addition, really, is that I got rid of my kerosene here because I couldn't afford to run it. And now, I have a log burner. So, I'm chucking old pallets in there, old log in there, and I'll tell you what, that has been a godsend this year. Um, instead of freezing and not be able to come out here, now I'm out here every evening. Uh, sometimes I'm off doing some work, sometimes I'm just sat here. We've got baked potatoes in there. We boiled the kettles because I ain't paying the electricity prices. So there you go, there's our hot water for hot drinks if we when we need it and then we just put them in the flask. There you go, that has been an absolute godsend. So there you go, I'm waffling on, but thanks for looking and I'll keep you updated. Please look out for part two and um, there you go. Nothing else to show you. I might as well stop the video. People get on. So thanks for looking, and I hope you enjoy the build like I think I will. It really is going to be nice. So I really cannot wait. So there you go. Good luck to your people, and uh, speak soon. Bye bye.